are at the Chaumahala Palace, which is a palace of my ancestors. And uh, we, the auto fellow just uh, brought us here to check it out. And that's what we're gonna do. It's kind of like, I've never been here actually. So it's, it's going to be all, all new for me. Looks like there is definitely some maintenance. <laughs> And uh, lots of trees everywhere. And uh, I'm going to start the tour here. And uh, again, the lawns and all look, uh, it reminds me of the missions actually uh, back in California. And uh, I can just imagine how beautiful it might have looked those days, you know, with all these uh, intricate work, unique designs of architecture and all. Uh, it's, uh, I can imagine it's uh, the Nizam's oldest wives, I believe, used to reside here. So I'm gonna keep going and then uh, see what we find. Actually, it looks like there are several pa palaces here, not just one. I just have to pause here and take in the view. Very interesting. I'm sure when the, when the trees are full, and when they are in bloom, it looks even more, it looks even more pretty, prettier. The lawns are looking very pretty. Some of the flowers are in bloom, and it's a uh, it's quite a nice view here, and quite cool despite the hot weather outside. Let's keep moving and then take in take in more of the views. Okay, someone's telling me that I should go in here and then uh, see what's here. This is how they used to dress those days. It looks like interesting. Look what's here. Okay. I see a beautiful lake here now. I just got done taking pictures. They dressed me up like a princess and then they took some pictures. So we'll see what happens with those later. But uh, wow, that's that's uh, quite that reminds me of actually Getty's uh, Getty's villa. But this is obviously this is much bigger. This is much bigger. Look at the grounds here. Look at the grounds here. Much bigger here. Okay. Views get uh, nicer and nicer. Look at that structure over there. Looks like that's another palace. And definitely um, that is a palace up there. We will go there and take a better, closer look, I mean. Oh, look at that view. Look at that. Um, look at that warring machine, <laughs> I was going to say. I don't know what to call it. But uh, that is the view from here. Very pretty. A nice view. That's a really nice view. I'm going to take a picture actually. Keep moving here. And then let's see what's here. Is that a store or something? 
Yeah, looks like there's a store here. How nice. Museum shop, treasures of Royal Hyderabad Museum shop. I should check it out before before I continue here. Uh, oh wow. Oh wow, look at that structure. That has to be the main palace. My great great grand uncle must have been really old. That's all I can say. So I'm gonna go in here and take a look. Such interesting books here. Such interesting books here, and uh, he had a lot of cars. The Nizam had a lot of cars, so the T-shirts are depicting that. Acha, oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, sorry. They don't actually allow video in there, so I wasn't able to cover too much in the store but it looks like they had pretty nice stuff here we're gonna continue on nice shady tree over there huh? wow it must be like a few hundred years old tree check that out Check those out. Isn't that uh, isn't that pretty cool? I think I'll take a picture here. It's called Saman Mangala. Interesting uh, to hear the call of prayer from here. Let's go around and get a better view of the of what I think is the largest of what I think is the largest palace here. And the call of prayer is going on as you can hear in the background. Yeah, that is quite a that is quite a view here. Very nice view. Let's uh, keep getting closer. That's a beautiful gate. I would I would say. Yeah, it gets more and more beautiful. I can only imagine how beautiful it might have been in those days when everything was painted nicely and the water was and the fountains were full and uh, you know in all its glory just just look at all the just look at all the intricate work here on the walls it's very impressive some folks are sitting out here talking discussing enjoying the outdoors just like I am. Uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, folks are taking pictures. Enter this palace now and then see what we can find. So let's get in. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that, they are like chandeliers. They're like chandeliers everywhere. That's the roof. The chandelier. I feel like I'm just like flowing. I feel like I'm just flowing through this building. And as I turn around, as I turn around, you can see all the intricate work in the palace. 
this is how the kings and the queens used to live those days and that is where my great grand uncle used to sit that's this that's the seat up there i'm gonna get a close up there so that's where he used to sit surrounded by all his all his uh, you know all the folks that he used to work with and i'm gonna keep going it's you, you feel kind of small here because the place is just so big and that uh, it makes you feel like you're, you're you're small i can only imagine when the lights turn on and all the furniture is there how beautiful how beautiful it might have looked because right now there is no furniture there are no lights and still it looks beautiful it's like i would say like three stories four stories high you know i'm gonna turn off the video and take some pictures Let's see what's inside here. Oh, they talk about they talk about the Nizam, Neil Hebubali Khan Bahadur Asif Ja Six. And uh, there's a lot of information here that one can read. And all the all the structures that he built Palatu Again the Palatu Palace Palatu Palace Mehbubia School I did my high school here at the Mehbubia School and then Zanana Hospital Mehbub Grandstand Palatu so he made all those buildings and what else is here i mean there's a lot to take in here one has to really come back and there is more information here and other buildings that he made the high court Hunani hospital Usmania general hospital and uh, you know, this is uh, Mir Usman Ali Khan Bal Asif Ja 7, 7, yes. And uh, these buildings are still standing actually. They are still uh, standing, not in such great shape during his times, but still they are there. And uh, there are some models here and uh, all the coins and rupees that used to be that were in use during his time Mansubi's public garden that's uh, I think that's made in silver that's pretty cool actually let's look at the top that's pretty cool. Should they use money? Public garden. And look at this. I'm pretty sure this is made in ivory, so that's uh, pretty interesting as well. Anyway, so again, that's the room I'm in here. And all around is um, all the artifacts and, and pictures. So we get back into the main hall here. 
and we look at something else. Again, look at the how glorious, how beautiful it might have been those days. And we are entering another room here. This is the room. I think that's a seat where he used to sit. And a little bit of the of the history here. All the pictures of the family. As you can see, lots of pictures here. The royal family at the opening of Chomahala Palace as a museum. Okay, the royal family at the opening of Chomahala Best of class rules, right? Best of class. Cartier travel with style. So, Cartier used to make a lot of things. Thanks for them. More pictures here. More pictures. More pictures. There's, there's quite a bit of history here. And there's a TV also that explains. That picture is pretty iconic of the Nizam with his grandson. So, again, this uh, room is full of history. That's a really interesting painting. So, the the outside where we were, that's that's how this used to look. When the Nizam would sit, the king, the Nizam would sit on his seat and surrounded by all his subjects and officers and such. That's how it used to look like. That's a big picture also. Again, it, there is a, this is a lot to take in, so one has to spend time here. The Nizam, I think with his kids or grandkids, I think. Uh, yeah, that's a really, really nice picture. You can see that's how they used to dress up. That's how they used to dress up. Again, with his courtiers to the Nizam. With all the, he was not a very tall man, so, you know, he was pretty short, I think. Those are all his, uh, you know, people who used to work for him. Again, I'm just gonna go quickly and uh, so that I can see the rest of the place. This is what clock tower. So when you put on the lights and all, it just takes on a whole different light, you know. Some stairs here, so I'm gonna go up and see what's happening up here. Come on, have this view of the... Come on, look at that big thing. Take a peek outside. Keep going. Hall of Heritage Arts, it says. So, go up and see what is here. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. This place is like loaded. Look at all the furniture that's here. And all the artifacts. Clothing. This is the kind of clothing they used to wear those days. It's this picture kind of fading. The painting is kind of fading, but you can still see it. 
and you can see the view from the top more chandeliers more artwork on the walls this place must have been really impeccable those days and as you can see lots of paintings here I don't think this place was open when I used to live in Hyderabad so you know this is the first time really I'm seeing it continuing on so we are again on the on the top uh, another floor here wow this is kind of this is kind of overwhelming I would say this is really there is really so much there is really so much to see here that uh, it is kind of hard. it is kind of hard to uh, grasp everything look at all those pictures and big huge paintings and the views outside as you can see through these uh, windows you know big huge courtyards i mean this place must go on for miles and miles you know look at those pictures these are like wall to wall hangings these are really like wall to wall hangings she was really beautiful she really was she was from turkey by the way and uh, she was a she was a princess as well. This is the daughter-in-law of the king, the Nizam, with, with her son. And uh, she was, I believe, the last descendant of the Turkish, uh, Turkish Empire. So it was like royalty marrying into royalty. And then there is another, another hall here. Wow, look at that picture. I mean, the painting. Oh my goodness, this place again is loaded. We're entering another hall here. Uh, this is a view from the top. And uh, amazing views here. Really amazing views here from the top. You could see the king sitting there, I suppose. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I see a lot of crockery here yeah I guess he must have really liked to dine and uh, entertain wow the view I can't get over the view from here it's an amazing view from here got to take some pictures later as you can hum in He wants to go home as usual. Hold on one second, my dear. Okay. That's a big, big picture. So they are all dining here. And look at the chandelier. The colors are like uh, it's like a multi multi color chandelier. So before I leave this room, I need to take at least one picture. Entering another room here and it seems to be full of, uh, you know what? souls and such. Yeah. From roof to bottom, it's like full of full of souls and such. Look at that. See, that's how they used to dress up. This is from 1955. That's how they used to dress up. And I'm heading outside now. Hopefully it's not too warm. So 
the armory of the Asitya dynasty, it says. So that's what that is. That's what it looks like on the outside. Outside the courtyards are courtyards are really pretty and really really big. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what these are all about. What's inside them? I think the city is trying to maintain everything, but uh, definitely the building can use a coat of paint and then it would look really nice. And more of the souls and such. As you can see, all around. I can only imagine how long it must have taken to uh, actually build this place. That's what this is. Okay. Again, I'm coming out. Huge door there. Lots more to see. People are heading to see more palaces, but I don't think we have the time or energy to do that. So I'm going to head back. I'm going to head back to where uh, where we came from. Wow! Look at all how cool this is. This is like stepping back in time. See those birds sitting up there? Pigeons, I believe. So. I'm heading back without seeing everything, you know, because it's just uh, too much for the eyes. That building, how intricate that is. And uh, these seem to be all lemon groves here. People like to take pictures here. Oh, so this is called the clock tower famously called the Hilvat clock. It has been ticking away for a hundred years. People of the locality, it was curiosity of this time. So that's what that is all about. So we are heading back now. I just want to take a picture with the, by the water. So I'm going to try to find that. This location just looks so serene, so beautiful. But it's all like, uh, you know, um, entry has been prohibited here, so I don't think I'll be able to get in. But I wish I was able to take a picture of the reflection in the water. <laughs> Again, I'm continuing to walk back and happy about what I've seen so far uh, so some nice memories to take back home this is another beautiful view by the water here not sure if i'm able to get very close to the water but uh, I just wanted to get the reflection you know in the water okay so that's the best that's the best I could do maybe I could focus here let's see yeah that's not too bad so that's what it looks like the reflection in the water and that's the main palace and that's the gate that I entered and here there is some sitting area under the trees. Very serene, very peaceful. Except for the hot sun. <laughs> Tree looks kind of uh, interesting. It looks like a big hat or something so this is again another 
palace. I decided to come here and check out some of the other palaces and I uh, found this uh, very interesting tree here. See, that's another way to another palace there. I'm looking for the vintage cars and where they might be. Hopefully, I find them. I believe there are some good Rolls Royce from older times. So, let's see what we find. All these flowers in bloom. They're all like different colors and all. Different colors. Very pretty. It really helps when you're walking in the sun to see some flowers and some shade. You know, hopefully the cars are not too far off. This view from here, nice flooring. Look at the view from here. Amazing view. You can see the reflection over there. So that's what this other palace looks like. I'm gonna get a close-up here. Okay, that's a close-up. So, let's see. Uh, talk about grandeur of, of those times and let's see. You can see from the... That's what it used to look like inside. What it looks like inside that um, statue the sign says vintage cars so let's go let's go see um, vintage cars are and what they look like I mean, this this building really needs maintenance. I mean, the city needs to do more to maintain maintain the place. I don't know why they're not doing it because it seems worthy of it. And gardens everywhere here. And okay, so these are the the famous cars of the Nizam, all the way in the back. Okay, I did a lot of walking, so Rolls Royce, Silver Coast, 1912. That's what it looks like. And then let's see what else he had. 1906. That's another car he had from 1906. And then yet another car 1906 I'm gonna keep moving on 1934 this is a Ford car there's too much reflection here I'm not sure if you're able to see it's a Fiat and then 1952 Packard, that's what this is. Maybe if I walk backwards, maybe you can see it better. This is Buick, 1947. And that looks pretty grand. It was on forever, that's what that car is. That's what that car is. What else do we have? We had a bunch of motorcycles, looks like. Some more cars here outside. Maybe these are need to be repaired or something. Yeah, motorcycles. So heading back. Maybe the view is more clear now. And uh, so some of his famous, some of his famous cars. 
I've seen some of these type of cars uh, at Silmar. There's a museum close to where I li live and uh, there's a whole bunch of these cars. So um, I've seen them before. That is pretty unique actually. Nice yellow car. So for now, I think I'm gonna head back for sure and uh, say goodbye to the museum for now. So heading back. And there are, I'm sure I missed out on many palaces here. Seems like the list is never ending. Wow. Another palace here. More chandeliers of different colors. I mean, there is no end to this. You know, even though the place is empty, still, see, that's how they used to dress. The woman used to dress like that those days. Oh, the woman used to dress that way. Saris and other dresses and all. Used to be like there. No so far, but they used to have those sitting places. So again, heading back. It's nice and uh, shady here, so I chose to walk this way rather than walking in the sun.